Hey guys, this is Undercover Dudes all the way from Down Under, and today we're checking out some of the best browser games to play in 2021. Now I love Crunker.io, but in today's video we're playing some of the most popular browser games on itch.io, and as you can see, there are so many awesome games to check out. We've got Friday Night Funkin', the game everybody is loving. We've got an FPS version of it, we've got some other shooters, we've got some side scrollers, and you guys are gonna love these games. But before we get into it, if you guys want to use the browser that I use to play all my browser games with max FPS and no lag, then make sure to download Brave Browser by clicking the link in the description below. Brave is my go-to pick for every browser game. It not only gives me high FPS, but it also has an inbuilt ad blocker that just nukes every ad. And you can also earn free cryptocurrency and money by just surfing the web. And if you guys want to go and check it out for free, make sure to go and click that link in the description below. It's one of the best ways to support the channel. But with that said, my friends, let's get straight into it and check out those browser games. Now, before we get into Friday Night Funkin', I want to show you guys a new FPS game that I think you'll go and enjoy. And this game is called VRG. It's inspired by games like Titanfall, so it's got great fast-paced movement, it's got a combo, it's inspired by those old-school shooters as well, and it's going to be a lot of fun. So let's hop into it. All right, guys, let's get into it and start playing a little bit of VRG. And this game, uh, despite being a little, you know, seeming a little bit simple, it actually has quite a lot of depth to it. And it's a, it's a pretty sweet game. So as you can see, you start up with no combo. I've got a C, I've got a D right here, but the more you go into the room and the more you get stylish kills with sliding and stuff like that, the more your bar increases. All right, shotgun time. Let's use this, get a ton of kills. And as you can see, one shot, one kill, man. And the SSS, you get the slow motion as well. That's sick. This is awesome. Also, playing a bit more, realizing there is sliding, and also you can use two weapons at the same time. So not only just the pistol or the assault, uh, the assault rifle, but also both of them at the same time, which is sick. This is really, really good. But then I equipped the pistol back on, and we've got the two weapons side by side. This is sick, man. Just running through this labyrinth right now and just demolishing people. Let's go. This actually is kind of difficult because these enemies do do quite a lot of damage, especially the other more powerful ones. You've got to be careful about it. And that, my friends, was the end of the level. You've got the rocket launchers as well. This is, I have to say, this game is sick. And if you guys want to check it out, it's VRG. There will be a link in the description below. All right, guys, you guys guessed it. It's Friday Night Funkin', and this game is taking over YouTube. It's taking over gaming right now, and for good reason, because it is a ton of fun. It's basically browser-based DDR. You use your arrows, you go and time the music, and it's a ton of fun. So let's get into it, and I'll show you guys around. So the guy on the left will go and show the moves and then you have to replicate them by going and pressing your arrow keys in time. Now, it's a pretty simple concept, but it gets very, very difficult very, very quickly. And in these battles, there is multiple songs per battle and it's just a joy to go and play and all these songs are just so cool. Now, as you can see at the bottom, there is the score and it's basically a battle. And if you mess up too many times like I'm doing right now, you, uh, you start losing. And you can also use your uh, WASD keys. I didn't realize that if I was just using my arrows, but you can use WASD if you're a first person shooter fan like me. And there you go. Hey, we done it. Hey, we done it. WASD comes in clutch. And that, my friends, was week one. Score 70,000. There's also hard and easy modes if normal is a bit too difficult. On top of the story mode, there's also a free play mode where you can just play some of your favorite songs and try to get your personal best of them, and which is pretty cool. And you gotta say, this game is, uh, it's pretty fun. Even though I'm not particularly good at it, just hearing these awesome songs, it's great. And hey, I might not be the best at this game, but it's one of those that you can just hop on, play it. The visuals are amazing, as you can see. The soundtrack is fantastic. This game is uh, truly the full package. But with that said, we're not done with Friday Night Funkin' because the next game we're gonna go and play is Friday Night Funkin' FPS. It's a 3D version of the game, so this is gonna be a bit interesting. All right, the same theme, let's get straight into it. Click next, and they've only currently got week one, so we'll go and see. It says, find and kill daddy dearest. You also got grenades, you can chuck at these guys' feet. They do, ha, 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 ha. 
a ton of damage right here. I'm just destroying him right now. There he is. We've got the assault rifle now. We'll chuck a grenade at his feet. Hopefully that does a ton of damage and we can go and take him out really easily. Oh, he's still low. Come on. Back to the pistol. A few more shots. Can we go and finish it off? And there we go, my friends. He gets taken down. Daddy Dearest is down. And we go into the next level. All right. Ch chuck a grenade. How are these going to... All of them go down. Very nice. We've got the shotgun. And we've got the assault rifle as well. We are kitted out. There he is. Let's take him out. The shotgun time. He's got this... Uh, what's it called? This Uzi? Pfft, nothing. Uzi, nothing compared to me. The shotgun just blasting him. And there we go. Mission complete. The map changes every time. The music changes every time as well. And this is something that I think is definitely uh, worth experiencing rather than me showing you playing it because it uh, it's pretty cool, especially if you're a uh, Friday Night Funkin' thing. Each level, your starting weapon goes uh, upgrades more and more. We have the shotgun. Now we've got the assault rifle. And guys, if you want to check this out, a link will be in the description below. And I have to say, the, the gameplay, the mechanics... The, the graphics are really, really, really quite cool. So go and check it out if you're interested. Next one we're going to play is a really cool side-scrolling game called Nuclear Blaze. And I actually love these websites right here. They have such great art. They show off the game and actually we're just straight in. Now the concept of this game is pretty simple. You go further and further into the building trying to go and extinguish the fire. And there is a few uh, twists and turns here that it's going to make it a little bit difficult. So you go, you go and press spacebar to go and uh, what's it called? Extin extinguish the fires, go down the ladder, go through the thing, so on, so on. And you you know what the game gets progressively more difficult and now we drop down no way back we are in the thick of it right now and as you can see it just gets worse and worse and more nerve-wracking and the story even though the game doesn't have any sounds or oh, okay nuclear this is uh interesting this game is actually surprisingly difficult because if you make one wrong maneuver if you jump without spraying you are gone so you gotta actually be a bit careful i won't spoil it go and play it yourself it was only published 19 days ago so is very very new but the art style is amazing it needs sound though sound would be sick but let's go to the next game Next up, we have got Deeper Sword, and this is a kind of a cute game because you just have a really, really big sword, and you need to use it to actually navigate your environment and also take out enemies. So that is actually kind of fun. All right, so we got taken out, but this time our sword is longer, so we should be able to go and take out the dragon. <laughs> and this is so cute. You just swing your blade, you go from side to side, and I, I, I absolutely love it. And it goes and gives you an extra level each time, just so you know, make it a bit spicy. And it's crazy that the levels change so much just by extending the length of your sword. And like, even this part right here is a bit more difficult than, than before, simply because of this. Oh, no, I've ruined it. I swear, this game is so frustrating at times. Oh, no, I went down to the bottom. Oh, my God, all my progress. Oh, the sense of satisfaction getting through all of that. Oh, I spent 25 minutes playing this game. So you guys know it must be good for 25 minutes. There you go. Congratulations for playing. I have to say, go and play that for yourself. 25 minutes. That's so bad. It's so... But I, this game is pretty fun. Also, guys, if you want more videos where I check out itch.io browser games, make sure to go and tell me in the comment section below. And while you're down there, tell me what game I should go and play. There's so many on here, and I don't know what to go and play next. All right, guys, the final game we're playing today is an FPS called Red Match 2. And it is a little bit of rough around the edges, but, you know, itch.io, browser game, FPS and whatnot, not too many of them have really, really solid mechanics. So this is uh, something a little different. The sound is completely cooked, though. You've got an assault rifle, you've got a shotgun, and you've got a sniper, and it's very simple. Shoot, 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 try to get the most amount of kills. And, oh, if I hit that shot, that would have been beast. This game definitely has its pros and it has its cons. Its pros is uh, the gunplay is actually quite good. The weapons handle quite well, but the the character anim animations are okay. The models are just completely weird. The maps also have basically next to no detail. They're just kind of blocky stuff or whatever. But the actual canvas of which you play this game on doesn't actually... It actually works not too bad it's it's not the worst so there we go we checked out a ton of browser games tell me your favorite in the comment section below and subscribe for more videos like this but other than that this is undercover dudes all the way from down under out